I think the no before yeah yeah this because is the verb yeah verb is what why, why is do we have, no why do we have uh -huh. e yeah instead of hoi is it ah uh, ah instead of hoi no. um, it can be used interchangeably ah, okay. anything anything is fine both are feminine okay who and she. how is masculine, masculine. he she. and oh. hoi okay. is feminine Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it has deeper meaning. Yes. <laughs> rich in meaning, rich in meaning, I would say. That's why we have to learn the original language. Yes. So if someone doesn't know the Syriac language and wishes to print a new edition, um, the meaning would be changed change, yes. completely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the significance of learning Syriac, the original language. Uh, shall I raise it? And there are some propositions that take the plural suffixes For example, the by not by nai. By not takes singular. The next one, next proposition in our list. By not will take singular, but by nai takes plural suffixes. And the het, which means under or below. I guess it by by now it makes sense because it's between, right? So you have to. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> by Nike. By Nike. By Nike. Oh. Okay, wait. Did I say it wrong? Yeah, it's correct. By night, by night, by night, by now, by nay. By nine, by nine kun, by nine ken, by nine hun, by nine hen. Similarly, ak does not take suffixes instead. We will convert it into akwoth and then add suffixes to it. Singular suffixes are added. And 
for al we add plural suffixes these are just rules don't ask me why <laughs> I think it is more related to the way we pronounce the, uh, if we just say al alok it sounds weird ally alike yeah it's good it's better than just alok Okay, when you get time, go through the text and identify which set of suffixes goes with which preposition. Okay. You don't have to memorize it, but just have an idea. Another word we come across is eat and light. there is not or there is no the top one over the Olaf like that uh -huh. this, this one is Olaf, Yud and Tav Eat um, No, I'm just trying to figure out the the, um, mm -hmm. the accent above it is that an E, 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 e. Oh, okay okay My teachers sometimes have a <laughs> hard time to figure out <laughs> what I write. <laughs> but for the examination, I'll write it clearly. Because <laughs> I don't want to lose marks. But many times I have confused my teachers <laughs> with this A ah and O. Oh. <laughs> so whenever I write this A, ah, it looks like this. <laughs> it's very similar to the O and the teacher will mark that it is not O rather it is A <laughs> I would say I really meant I actually meant A <laughs> so, Eat and light it takes plural suffixes.
just go through the explanation given it is a bit confusing it is more like a verb than a proposition so what other verbs have we learned who how he hoy uh then what are what is what are the plurals konun henun no they are also atun as also used enun and enen are also used as verbs eat is also used can be used as a verb more it is more uh likely used as a verb okay it will replace the have or mm, enun enen and all without a suffix it means there is so take the example written below light mayo tamon there is no water there tamon means there mayo water light there is no eat lan when used with a proposition lomat it takes on the meaning to have so eat lan means we have or there is for us get the meaning the second example mariana did you find that oh we have a law so eat lan no mo so no mo so the literal meaning will be there is for us a law that means we have a law so eat the the proposition eat with the proposition lomat gives the meaning to have eat lok you have or there is for you got the meaning with suffixes when we add suffixes to it that is itai the plural suffixes itai itaik itaik itau it will be used as a verb see that example malko itaik you are king so it is not there is a king for you it is you are a king christiane itaihun they are christians when you get time read that section again and again let that be concretized in your mind okay okay so the different usages of eat and light that will help you a lot later so kul means every or all all books kul kitab another preposition and when a noun is used with kul the noun should be in the absolute state it's not kul kitabo it is not wrong actually but the most common form we find will be the absolute state of the noun with the word with the preposition kul kul kitab kulek tobo the whole book see there we have the emphatic form kulhun tobe all the books
let's try some examples in the exercise and then we'll take a break so do you have any questions first let me let's see that Yeah, when we do the exercises, we, some questions might come up. Let's try the uh, uh, exercises. So first.